Okay, Ron, this is uh, my test of the relays. Uh, I've got my battery, my current meter, which is measuring 29.1 amps. Battery comes into the relay system just like it would. And instead of the motor, I don't have my controller because I don't need that. I'm using some a dummy load. And basically it's some resistive wire. It's called nichrome, nickel chromium wire. And you can see it's getting red. <laughs> I'm dissipating about 400 and plus watts here. Well, about 400 watts. I'd have to go look at my, my ohms uh, calculator. But I can actually move this lead so there's longer stretch of wire now. Got more wire, more resistance. And now I'm running... 21 amps. I'm going to go back to 30 amps here. Those clips are getting a little warm. Um, the relays are warmish, but nothing I would consider out of the ordinary. Um, remarkable how these uh, terminal blocks are very... Uh, the terminal blocks are not warm. I just have to be careful I don't short everything out. And the wires to the, um, the, the wires that are uh, coming from the battery, which in this case is replacing the pulse width modulator. It's just on full 12 volts, whatever the battery can supply through the load. They're warm. Uh, the sockets themselves, not so warm. The relays are actually a little bit warmer. But again, not very warm. I mean, I'm guessing I don't have one of those. Um, I do someplace, actually. I have one of those thermal devices. But it seems to be working pretty well. So as I say, I'm, well, I'm down, yeah, about still 29 amps. It's dropped a little bit. The characteristics of the nichrome wire is it gets hotter, the resistance goes up a little bit. This is what you find in a toaster. <laughs> so I basically have a 12-volt toaster here. Um, and I'm letting it run now. It's been running for a few minutes. And, as I said, the wires coming from the, from the relays are warmish. But nothing to be concerned about yet. And I've broken my cardinal rule here. I've got my ring on and my watch, so I'm going to take those off right now after all that to do. So I'm going to stop the movie right now. This is a great little test bed. Then you don't have to have a motor in water and all that stuff. Um, and by moving this, well, if I clip it here, it's 21 amps. If I clip it here, it's almost 29 amps. If I put it over here, it would go up even higher. Got to be careful because things do get toasty. Um, and with this setup, I could probably go up to 50 amps, uh, no problem. But I think we're approaching the limits of these relays. Obviously, they're rated at 30 amps. But I am not in the least bit concerned about that heat. Um, they're not stone cold. The wires are warm. I don't know what they'll be like in an hour or two. Uh, my battery is a 35 amp hour battery. So it should be able to handle this for, you know, maybe 20 minutes. Anyway, that's working pretty well. 
I am really surprised. Okay.